Hello, Orbis here, and welcome to my unboxing of All Things Must Pass by George Harrison, the 50th anniversary version uh, vinyl set, which came out a couple years ago, and I, I just got it yesterday, and I thought it'd be fun to record a, an unboxing video. I'll, just, I'll decide whether to actually upload it once I've recorded it. If it's completely terrible, then um, I won't upload it, or maybe I will, I don't know. So, All Things Must Pass, it's uh, George Harrison's first album after uh, leaving the Beatles, or after the Beatles broke up, rather. And it is a massive album, it's a triple album. Technically, it, I, I sort of consider it a double album with an extra disc, because the third disc is just a, a jam session, but either way. His first album out of the Beatles was a triple album, which was quite a bold move, but I think he just had so much material um, that he just wanted to really sit all at once. Because, you know, when he was with the Beatles, he was only getting two songs per album, which wasn't really enough, considering how much of a prolific songwriter he was around that time period. I think most people uh, can agree that this is one of the best Beatles solo albums, possibly the best, but that's a, that's a whole other discussion. Um, is it my favourite Beatles solo album? I don't know. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I think I think uh, Paul McCartney's Ram is a good contender as well. So yeah, I've got it out there, obviously the cardboard box that it comes in, but. I haven't taken off the shrink wrap yet, so I'll, I'll do that now. There we are, so... I guess I'll quickly talk about the album cover. I mean, it's it's. I think it's the exact same one as the original album, um, just that the trees are coloured and uh, this text is um, in green as well. So, yeah. let's just open it up. Okay. So on the left side. Uh, it's just got the, the list of tracks. So size one to six, it's just the regular album with five and six being the uh, the Apple Jam. And then you've got alternate takes. Alternate takes and um, songs that didn't make the album. And then here you've got the, the personnel, the people that play on the album. And this book, I've got a booklet. Um, Just um, quotes and photos, and then I think this is an, an interview slash conversation with Danny Harrison, who is George Harrison's son, and Paul Hicks, who is I assume so involved with the album in some way. So yeah, executive producer Danny Harrison and 2020 remixed and produced in stereo by Paul Hicks. And there's the, uh, loads of credits underneath. I'm guessing we have the poster, which I think came with the original album as well. So I'll be sure to add that to my wall of posters. This is a sleeve which has the lyrics for side one and side two. And it's not actually inside, it's it's here, so I guess you can put it inside. Okay. It's just a regular black vinyl um, with the orange apple.
here's the lyrics for side three and side four. And again, orange apple. And this camera does not like fixing. And then this is the sleeve for the apple jam, which obviously doesn't have lyrics. So, um, got the list of tracks here. Um, on the other side, it just says apple jam. And on the, the vinyl, instead of the the regular Apple, as in the, the company, it's just got the, the Apple Jam image on both sides. Um, and then we get to the session outtakes and jams um, section. So this is side one and two of the list, and then the Apple Jam image again. And again, uh, just the Apple Jam image. And then continuing, and then continuing with the session outtakes and jams, got side three and side four, and again with the apple jam image. And again on the the actual record. Now I have to put all of, all of this back. And there we go, that's my un unboxing of the 50th anniversary of George Harrison's All, Thing, all Things Must Pass vinyl collection. Um, I know this wasn't a super exciting video, but if you liked it, then great. Um, do the usual stuff, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all, all that jazz. Part of the reason I wanted to do this video is because I, I feel like I need to do more Beatles content, and I want to. Um, I did run out of ideas for the whole uh, entire discography, but blank, uh, at least for the Beatles. So I'll, f I'll think of more Beatles related content I can do. So anyway, that's, that's all from me. So hopefully I'll see you again soon and goodbye.